Howdy Foodtube, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen. Now the other day I got asked to make a Minecraft cake. Now I've never played it before, uh, so my friend James gave me a little crash course. I can jump like this, I can strafe from right to left. I've got a friend who's a cow there, I want to stroke it. Oh, it's a pig. I just hit the pig, but you know what I'm saying? I just kind of like the whole Minecraft thing. I'm kind of getting interested and into it. It's like a pixelated world where your dreams can come true. But my friend James showed me this pixelated axe he had. I want to turn it into a cake. So that is exactly what I'm going to do uh, while I make friends here with the cows. There's the cow's udder right there. Quite exciting viewing for you right there. So let me jump to it. I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own Minecraft pixelated axe while I just walk around and eat flowers and stuff. So to celebrate the fact that you can get Minecraft pretty much on every platform, uh, even your hand right now, and the fact, a good shout out to Yoxcast right now, just hit 7 million subscribers, I just found out those guys are up the road for me as well, I could have given them this cake as a bit of celebration, but anyhow, if you want to make this amazing axe cake, doesn't it look cool, right? Hit pause on the video right now, write these ingredients down, this is how you do it. Start off by whisking your egg whites until nice and stiff using an electric whisk, then follow up with your sugar, whisking that again until it's nice and glossy then chuck in your egg yolks you want to whisk that through and it will change in color just a little bit paler using a sieve over the mixing bowl pass through your flour corn flour and baking powder and then fold it in with a metal spoon until fully combined pour your mixture into a lined cake tin and bake for a good 20 minutes and then allow to cool fully of course, you could skip that step entirely by buying some ready-made sponge, but that is actually a lower-fat sponge recipe that you should try out. Yeah. I then made the template for my axe cake so I could neatly cut my cake into shape. And just by simply getting a piece of paper, now this is two centimeters by two centimeters, but of course you can adjust that any way you want. You can just use that as a base to make some really funky shapes. So I made the shaft of the axe, I know that's not the technical term, and then the, obviously the sharp bits on the ends of the axe and all the other shapes required so I could build it together and I could actually see my axe shape forming. Good times. I then brushed on some jam to act as a glue for my icing tiles and got the cake into its final position. Then it was just a case of making the squares out of my different coloured icing. Now don't worry if you make a mess with this, you know, it can get ice and sugar on it, we can finish that in just a bit. So I started off by putting my brown tiles on and then the black so I could see it was starting to come together before finishing up with the grey and then the white. Now as I say, I just got a little brush with some water on it and brushed it to make it look all flush and clean and sparkly like a Minecraft pixelated axe. And there we go, it was done. Mm-hmm, there we go then guys, there it is, our pixelated Minecraft axe cake. It's my wife, Mrs. Barry's birthday tomorrow. She doesn't know what Minecraft is, so I'm gonna tell her I've made a coat hanger cake, and hopefully she won't fall for it. So I'll whack it down there. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a comment, and share, uh, and subscribe to FoodTube, My Virgin Kitchen, and of course, Yogscast, if you haven't been one of those seven million already. And maybe, sort of next up, let me know down below what you wanna see next. Maybe I could go up there and make them Jaffa cake, See. Kind of like them, right? So anyhow, see you next time.